Hey everyone, it's Ryan from Resale CNY. I'm gonna do another haul video real quick uh, today. I didn't really feel like listing much, so. I got four totes next to me, two on each side. They're like, they're like, you know, the normal size totes, nothing too big. Some of these haul videos I'd brought in, those super long, heavy duty totes. But they're jam packed full of stuff. I mean, they're filled right up. Um, I'm just gonna kinda go through them show you all what we got and uh all of this stuff in these brown totes all came from dan's house just like the watches just like the haul video me and my daughter julia did and the last one i did by myself as well not that wasn't the watch one um yeah so all of this came from dan's all of it's part of the twelve thousand eight hundred dollars that we spent across the three times we went there uh we actually just updated our books this morning and off the little bit of stuff that we've sold from Dan's already, I think we're over four, I think it was 14,200 before fees and taxes. So we're basically, we're almost like even with the money. Um, when you factor that stuff's going to be taken out. Uh, we just got to keep selling stuff and we got a, a whole bunch of it left. We're basically, we're just keeping pace when we were buying from Dan. By the time we, you know, the first time we bought and then we'd sell like four or five thousand dollars worth of stuff and then we'd go out there and spend another four thousand and then you know i feel like that's going to be the pattern for a while but let me just start pulling out some of this stuff there's going to be a mixture of new items like um like modern new uh there's going to be vintage stuff there's going to be stuff from the 80s and 90s hopefully quite a bit of it there's going to be toys uh probably some statues and uh vases and china stuff like that uh, just a whole bunch of stuff so I'll, why don't i just get right into it and stop wasting so much time <laughs> uh we'll just start simple here this is 1997 preschool Tyco melody pale this is uh the hang on cribs and i don't know a little almo piece there oh, okay these are all these Vintage, I actually looked these up. They all say Hong Kong on the back. And they're like holiday cupcake. They're like the toothpicks or the sticks that you stick in cupcakes. I mean, there's there's got to be a hundred of them in there, if not more. Uh, now I know why I had them in the bag, because they keep falling out of this box. All right, here's Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty uh, muffin pan. Is that what it is? Yeah. That's by Roaco. Um, I think I looked this up. It doesn't have a lot of value, but I mean, anything that looked interesting or cool, we picked up. Regular price, $100 on sale. These are Drury Studios, Ride'em Cowboy. It's a piece out of a thousand. It looks like it's like bronze, maybe? There's a couple of them here. This one is, this is out of a thousand as well. I'm not sure, but I think there's just two of them in here. There is, like I said, there's going to be a wide variety of stuff in these totes. If it fit, we put it in here. <laughs> um, here's one of the Lennox holiday village collection. I'm not sure what place this is. This one's in good condition. A lot of these Lennox ones that we had from there were, the box was pretty gross. But that one seems to be pretty decent. Yadro Society. This hasn't even been, oh, maybe it has. No, this one hasn't even been opened. I don't think this is like a statue of anything. I think it might be like a little placard. I don't think these have a ton of value, but maybe we'll be surprised on that. I'm not going to open that up right now. You're going to have similar stuff with this, I believe, because here's an Armani one, and here's another Armani one. And uh, we've sold a couple of these Armani crucifixes for hundreds. Actually, we just shipped out one this morning that was like 215 The other one was... Uh, 350 speaking of stuff that we sent out today today we sent out this morning we sent out two 
1988 plush little foot uh, from the land before time I think those were $35 a piece we sent out two of them we also sent out for $30 a piece Ducky and Sarah uh, characters from there and the reason I mentioned that is we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of these watches Armatron these are 1988 as well and these are just I don't know if they're all the same no nope, they're all different not all of them are I mean there is quantity here but looks like almost all of them have a little foot on it yep so there, it looks like there's just two different kinds um here's a good example of the two right now Oop, let me get it in there there it is um, ten of these these don't have a lot of value unfortunately um, we have one that we picked up one of the first times we went out to dance one or two and I think I got it listed for like $14.99 uh, plus shipping and I think I lowered it from like $17.99 because it wasn't getting any any action at all but even if I have to keep dropping that and they sell for $10 a piece, there's $100 in watches right there. All right, here's Norman Rockwell. I don't really like Norman Rockwell stuff. We made a little bit of money off it, and I'm sure there's some good pieces that I've missed out on before. But this one was a Coca-Cola plate as well. Again, I don't... Anything collector's plates and all that stuff, like... <laughs> we'll probably miss out on money just because we kind of lump them all in together but we typically don't buy a lot of that stuff but I, that shouldn't get a little bit of money here's one of these uh, Crestonia pieces these look like something that you know a uh, collector and then there is collectors of it we've sold some pieces but uh it's like mythical creature type things See, it's just like this figure like that um, not a ton of money if I had to guess without looking up comps beforehand I would say this fella here 10 bucks maybe 15 18 something like that this looks like uh, another Norman Rockwell piece almost grown up I'll leave that one in the box because you can see the picture here and we have oh these are just is this a box or coasters Oh, this is a box. Okay, this is like nesting boxes. This looks like it had some age to it. I don't remember there being... It just keeps going, too. Over and over and over until they're super small. Just like the nesting... Russian nesting dolls there. This does not look Russian, however. If I had to guess, I'd say... Yeah, it looks like there's like a Japanese symbol up here. Um... I don't know if these are bamboo or what, but they feel they feel like it. I'm not sure where these just looked old, look kind of unique. It's definitely old. Vintage piece. Okay, we got uh Sakar here. Thunderbird. Made by the, it's called the 50s. I don't know, type 1956. I'm not sure about value on that. Um, Royal Dalton piece here. This is a uh, salt and pepper shaker. Real old willow. I think there's going to be some more Royal Dalton, so I'm just going to kind of pop these out real quick so you can have a look. Real quick. So it's a nice... Oh my gosh, I got it. <laughs> Just a nice, like, uh, kind of Asian-themed. Uh, I, I got, like, a adrenaline tingle from that. That was almost worth the dropping it, just to kind of have that feeling. Uh, that would have been funny. That's it for this first tote. There's a little, a little patch here, Mickey Mouse Walt Disneyland. It says me. So let me just pause right here, and I want to clear this off the table before I get into the next tote. All right, you guys, I'm back here. Got another tote. 
Paul and I already sold one of these. This is Donkey Kong. This is from 19... This says 1982 on it. 1982. The one that we sold previously, I want to say sold for about 20. It was bad though. I had to run it under the faucet and scrub it out. This one you can see there's some dust on this. But uh, it's, it's dusty, but it's actually really clean. It's in really good condition. There's a little bit of stuff on the tag. We can just look at that tag, how old that is. This one is actually a little bit bigger as well. So I'm anticipating this selling for a little bit more. Um, yeah, that's a nice piece right there. All right, we got a couple of Hummel. Looks like a few Hummels here. This one is number 296 Flying High. This one is number 426 Little Fiddler. This one feels empty. It is not, but I have him out, so I'll show you guys. It's a little humble guy. Again, don't mind the left hand shakes. A little bit of nerve damage. This is number 407, Soloist. Well, I showed you the figure already, so you probably don't need to see the box. This is pretty cool. This doesn't get much more vintage as far as Teen Wolf goes. 1985 Teen Wolf t-shirt. It's in excellent condition. Um, it actually still has the, the price tag stapled in the up here. There's just something about vintage t-shirts. Every time I got a vintage t-shirt, I want to hold on from as, like, as much money as possible. But uh, we actually are waiting for the, a payment on a, a Madonna Like a Virgin Tour uh, band t-shirt. I can't remember the date or the age. That might have been late 80s as well. But they purchased it on offer for $150 plus shipping. And they have zero feedback. Even though they sent the offer, we're not too optimistic. Here's a couple more of those Royal Dalton. These are not salt and pepper shakers though. These are real old willow, they're just vases. Um, maybe I'll try to pull a comp for those. I really don't want to open those. Here's another one of those Christonia pieces right here. Borg's Throne. I want to, I want to see what this one looks like. Okay. So this must be Borg sitting on his throne. Again, I don't think there's any super heavy hitters as far as this Cristonia stuff goes, but they're all new and they bring a little bit of money. Bunnykin's Teaching Clock, Children's Clock. Oh, it's by Royal Dalton as well. Try to get the shine away from it there. And Lennox Cookies for Santa plate, originally forty dollars. There was a lot of Lennox in the uh, a lot of Lennox uh, Christmas dishes in one of the haul videos I just did. Here's another one of those bunnykins. So we got quantity. That's always good. Here's some more Lennox Christmas dishes. I didn't know these were all buried down in here. This one also says $40. It's a bowl. Home is where the heart is. This one, originally $40. Holiday covered casserole. I'm not a big fan of casserole of any kind. $60. This is a bread basket, holiday bread basket. So I'm hoping all this, I mean, I'm glad it's all super new and stuff. I'm hoping that Lennox stuff sells pretty good. When I, I never, all I know is when I did the uh, last haul video, I couldn't really find good comps, but it's not the best time of year for uh, for pulling uh, comps for Christmas dishes. These are just two fine bone china, china made in the Philippines cat pieces. 
So we'll see if these escape Bethany or my daughter. If they do, they will be for sale. Let's see here. <clears throat> this is Spray Cologne Concentrate. Sculptura. We actually sold some of this Sculptura, um, what was it? Powder? Like powder makeup. Uh, this is cologne. Half a fluid ounce. The packaging is ripped open, but it's new in there. I remember checking this being new. And we got two more that are spray cologne concentrate. And it's, it's weird too. They're all different sizes of the same thing. So why they bought quantity of different sizes, I'm not sure. This is Mark 1981. And if I remember correctly, let me look for the powder thing and put a price comp up right now. Uh, that's actually our sold comp, not a price comp. Um, let's see if that was 1981 as well. But these are all 1981. This one's sealed completely. It's got to be cleaned off a little bit. These ones are tore open a little bit. Now what I did with the powder is there wasn't a ton of, um, oh, sorry, sorry, I thought maybe the GoPro stopped there. There wasn't a ton of uh, comps out there. I think only like one thing had sold and there was one thing listed for like 40 and I'm pretty sure without looking at my phone right now, it sold for like $20. So I like cut the price right in half and uh, I'm not sure if we got good feedback or anything, but definitely haven't gotten bad feedback from it. Shamrock Wishes, T for one. This is a Lennox piece. This one was $100 originally. I don't know. I can't tell if that's showing well. But it's just like a, a teapot. Kind of looks like a, a teapot on the top with a cup on the bottom. I don't know if you could see it. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. $100 though, new. What is this? I have no idea. Hirschberg's Fine Jewelers. Oh, yeah. We got another one of these Norman Rockwell pieces. I'm sure this will be $10, $15, $17 dollars plus shipping. I just don't get too excited about the Norman Rockwell. I know we've actually left some over at Dan's just because we're getting so much stuff. Um... We don't need to get every single little piece. This is the last box from in, in there. This is a, it's a giant box for one gnome figure. It says, I don't know what it says, Doug Clark. Maybe Doug Clark, 1984. Kind of, it's not wood. I think it's like the resin type stuff i don't i don't even know maybe it's wood i don't think it is though doug clark i guess i'll leave it in this giant box oh there's one more thing silversmiths by towel or Tow towel i'm not sure and it's just a little charm here it looks like maybe like the liberty bell or something like that I'm going to assume that's uh, silver if I'm not positive. Okay, so that's tote number two. Let me pause this video again, and I will wrap up all this stuff, and then we'll get the two totes on my left side. All right, we're about to move on to tote number three, and I think this one might be a really good one. We'll start off a little bit slow here. An American tail ornament. These are McDonald's. These are 1986. Okay, brand new in their package. Something I'd assume you just got with your Happy Meal or whatnot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I know there was a box upstairs, I believe, still that has another one or two. But I got eleven right there, unless there's more buried in here, which there very well could be. Um, I don't think these have a lot of value. But I think there's one or two different kinds here. I don't think we have whole sets either. But maybe we'll just lot two and sell them for like $9.99 with free shipping or something like that. But, I mean, there should be a quantity listing. should be pretty nice. Um, just a vintage, a weird vintage hat here. Sun Valley. 
Uh, I got to clean it up a little bit. It's pretty obvious it's never been worn before, but Orlan acrylic. Just a just a vintage clothing item we threw in there. This is really cool for me and Paul to find. Uh, years ago, we did a huge, huge deal. Uh, I think we spent like 5500 or something like that on all these vintage Rough Riders and Stompers, uh, battery-powered uh, cars with track and all that stuff. So we only found one of these at Dan's, but we're hopeful there's going to be a bunch more. This is uh, Rough Riders number 6700. Um, it says 83 VAT on the side. And it's still brand new on its card. So this is from 1983. Yeah, it says there's an offer on the back that expires in 84. It's yellowed a little bit on the plastic. There was none of these. Card, little, is wavy. But you just don't find a lot of stuff like this. I mean, what kid isn't tearing this open, slapping a couple batteries in there? And playing with this thing. I'm not sure. But uh, pretty cool. I hope we find more of these. It was uh, good to reminisce about that other deal that Paul and I had made. When I found that in the basement of Dan's, I immediately looked at Paul. I'm like, yo, check this out. So that was pretty cool. This is from 1972. It's a metric converter. And it's made by Sterling. And I'm not sure. I just know, like, slide rules and things like this. Um can have some some value so I threw it in there. I don't I don't, you know, necessarily think that one does, but okay, we got a little excited about this one as well. Uh previously, we sold puffy stickers. Uh there was I think 7 packs of puffy stickers from the 80s and 2 packs of like scratch and sniff puffy stickers. I'll put it up right here. I think they sold for 400 and 70 or 407 a ridiculous number 415 dollars something like that for puffy stickers well when we we had made that sale then we went out to dan's and we saw more puffy stickers oh, just a second my son's calling me i'm sorry about that we got a baseball game canceled i'm gonna have to pause this video right here and call my parents and my uncle and stuff like that my son was supposed to pitch again today so he might not pitch until wednesday Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. Like I said, my son was supposed to pitch and it's just super crappy outside. Uh, just an update so far how my son's doing. I got his statistics right here. So far, he is 7 for 11. This is over three games. He's 7 for 11. He's got six singles and one triple. He's got He's knocked in seven runs. got seven RBIs. He's walked once. He's struck out four times. Um, he did not pitch... Uh, well in the first game, but it was also about 40 degrees with 15 mile an hour winds and uh, It was a little wet too, but uh, that's no excuse. He 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 can pitch better than that So Casey if you're watching this your next game, you'll pitch better, but he's been doing great at the play and he's been playing pretty good shortstop, too so that's a uh, sidebar um so what was I saying before? I think it was about these puffy stickers. I don't think I've shown them yet. So we went back out to Dan's after selling those puffy stickers and scratch and sniff ones for a lot. We found a, uh, more stickers. I don't think these will have the same value. Those were the junk food ones. These ones are Looney Tune puff, puffy stickers. So you know those are going to have some value at the very least. I mean, it has all the Looney Tunes characters. Then we got uh, some Disney ones here. Jungle Book, Mickey Mouse. Looks like primarily Jungle Book and Mickey Mouse, but there's like Donald Duck and stuff on there too. So just one like this. And then there's four packs that have all sorts of other Disney characters on here. And they're, they're a little different between them. Um, so, I mean, if he, these even remotely have the same value as the other ones. I don't think they do, though. I think it was something about the junk food uh, slash uh, scratch and sniff. But still, we got a little excited when we saw these, and they were Disney characters. So now just some quick uh, vintage holiday pieces. Or I don't know how vintage. 1982. So, yeah, vintage. Halloween. 
Halloween, you got a ghost here. Another ghost. Skeleton. And then we got two of these spooky spiders that were marked 50 cents. I'm not sure. 1982. So, I mean, these are vintage uh, Halloween decorations. So, those are kind of cool. I don't really like listing stuff like that, but. So, we got uh, some Sesame Street Valentines whole pack of them it's actually a really thick pack and then we got this uh big valentine there's multiple in here they're press out ones again sesame street um that looks like they're coming apart a little bit here 1981 on this so just anytime you see any of these vintage holiday stuff we just add it to the pile uh got some magnets these are from Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and Booberry. And these vintage magnets, we haven't sold any yet, but we have Kool-Aid ones that are marked at like $30, and they have like five watchers. And we have like Hershey's or something too. I'm not sure how well those are doing. Okay, now we have Little Miss Piggy. These are McDonald's as well, 1988. So there's quite a bit of vintage stuff here. These don't have much value, but they do have their tags. And they're in good condition stuff. They don't stink or anything. There's at least three of those in here. And then there's a, a Fozzie Bear one. I know there's at least a couple. Yep, there's another Fozzie Bear. Let's see what else we got here. 1978 Garfield stocking. And we got something wrapped up in a towel here. Okay, this is gonna be one of those Lennox ornaments. Rocking horse. So I'll leave that wrapped up. We have a Coca-Cola. This is just like a plastic container. It's actually an umbrella. So you open this up, you see it says umbrella down here. I think I looked this up, it was like 15, 20 bucks or something plus ship. And we have three of these Sophia Perfume. They were pretty cheap a while ago. It's actually made by Pfizer. Pfizer, New York. These are all the same. You got two of these bottles and then like a little sampler one here. Like I said, Sophia. Not sure. But vintage perfume. We're going to grab it. Okay. McDonald's toys. So right off the get-go, there's more of those American tail ornaments. So I think we had 11. Here's four more. There's 13. These are Bambi. Here, I'm just going to dump these out real quick. 16, 17, 18 of these. I already told you those don't have a lot of value. Little Mermaid ones. One, two. I mean, there's just Hordes of Little Mermaid. Different ones. I'm not sure if we have complete sets or not. These all look like Little Mermaid here. And then there's quite a few uh, Bambi ones. I mean, we might make sets if we have them, and they'll sell pretty good. These are from 1998. And if you notice a theme here, there's two different years that keep popping up. 1982 and 1988. And that's because we searched a specific section of the house. Or he brought over specific sections from the other house. And what I'm saying is they just accumulated stuff. And as they accumulated, they move into another space. I think we mentioned before that he has three houses. He's trying to get rid of two of them this year. So he's been bringing over some stuff from the old houses. And then we had a combination with some stuff from the new houses. That's a big bag of 1988 McDonald's toys. I think they're all McDonald's. If they're not McDonald's, there might be Burger King or something in there too, or Wendy's or something. Um, I think they filled up a house, moved to a new house. Filled up that house and moved to the current house he's in. And now he's a little overwhelmed, so the deal has worked out like perfect. Um, I don't know what this is. Tushkin squeezable greeting card. It looks like... 
an ass that you sign. I really have no idea. So these are kind of cool. I don't know how to pronounce this. Cellini. It's C-E-L-L-I-N-I. -L -L -I -I. These are sterling silver pins. So you got like a carousel horse, a whale, a seal. These are cat earrings. Sterling silver. And then here's some more dolphin, seal, like a whale, giraffe, lion, elephant, all sterling silver pins and the thing of earrings there. I want to say this was a pretty good brand to look out for, but just trust the price comps on this. Okay, we got more vintage McDonald's toys. 1988, like I said, certain years. Here's five of these dudes. I think we're just gonna lot them up. I think there was lots of three that were different. Three different ones that sold for like 13, 14 bucks, which was cool by us. We'll just take those five. And if we have any more, we'll add them to that lot and just blast them out the door. Here's a couple of these uh, vintage, I don't know, pain or whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a folding pocket comb. And there's two of them here. Okay, we got some vintage opera glasses. They have Chevalier. They have like a little dent on them and stuff, but I think these will sell for something. I don't think it's super high dollar or anything. Crestonia, again, this one is Vastin 503. Oh, cool. Jiminy Cricket. WDCC. So even though I showed you a picture of like 70 of these things before, here's two more. Just in its separate tote. So I mean, we have just tons of them. Here's just a, uh, I don't know what, we still have like this trolley looking figure. License plate. Okay, more Land Before Time stuff. These are... These are the hand puppets from Pizza Hut, I believe, right? Pizza Hut. Pretty sure these are Pizza Hut. So again, we have quantity. These are all gonna be from 1988. So we have Sarah, the Triceratops. We have five of her. We have three, four, five Petri. And just one little foot here. Uh, there was a sharp tooth one somewhere that uh, was out of the package. And then we got a modern toy here, just the good dinosaur. This is Alvin. This is made in West Germany. It's one of the this is the old compass or compass. Here's the key from Crestonia. And um, I think this is like 10 bucks with free shipping or maybe 10 bucks plus shipping, something like that. We'll take it though. Easy lister. Here's a Cinderella Walt Disney McDonald's toy. This is from 1987. And we have a whole bunch of those somewhere too, but here's just a expired uh, Kodak film. Here's St. Andrew's Scotch Whiskey. There's actually whiskey in there. Here's a, this is actually a pencil sharpener. Sharpener is plural, so there's two of them. Hershey's Milk Chocolate. Maybe that's what I was thinking of when I mentioned the, the uh, magnets earlier. Here's another one. Okay, we got a Lennox piece here. This looks like, I don't know, what, what is that, gravy boat or something? So it's a Lennox piece. Cream pitcher, symphony cream pitcher. Okay, we got just some uh, vintage audio cassette, brand new sealed. And we have a Garfield mini stamp. I'm not sure the age. It's definitely vintage. I'm not sure. And then we have another mini stamp here. 
by Creations, another Garfield one. And if you just watched my watch video I did, here's another one. I said there'd be some random holdovers, different places. This is a Snoopy by Armatron. And we had one of these in that other video too, so this would be a quantity, assuming they're in comparable condition. It's a little travel alarm clock thing. I actually think I've sold one of these before, like eight bucks free shipping or something like that. Goebel, this is what Hummel, West Germany. Yep. This was just loose in there, so I don't know if it had a bad box or what. Stargazer, this one's called. So that's it for this tote. We're running long on this video, so if you guys are still here, thank you very much. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hopefully by the time this one airs, um, we'll be over 100 subscribers, which is kind of cool. I mean, we don't know what the heck we're doing. We're so bad at technology and uh, and editing. and uh, It's been a, a battle just to figure out how to even get these online to you guys. But we're having fun doing it, and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it a little bit. Um, I'm going to stop it again, and let's get through one more toe. I think it's a quick one. I think it only has like three or four. All right, you guys, I lied. There's a little bit more than three items in here. There's probably about a dozen or so. Let's just get through them real quick. This is RCR, uh, made in Italy, oval centerpiece. It's kind of nice. If this doesn't have value, I'm sure Bethany's going to want something like this. She's very good at decorating. So there's going to be quite a bit of this. Um, there's some in this tote. I know Paul and I grabbed some more out of the, actually, the attic. This is Marquis, I believe it's pronounced, by Waterford. And if you'd seen one of our previous sales videos, we sold a Waterford uh, perfume bottle for like $60 plus shipping. This is a 9-inch vase by Marquis. And here is a 9-inch bowl by Marquis Waterford. You need to know Waterford, if you see that, there's gonna be value. I've sold that a bunch of times. Vases, um, animals, just different crystal things. Uh, here's a small bowl slash coaster, six inch. And this is a Markham bowl. And it's, it's a box within a box, I'm just gonna show you. Just another box here. Not much to see on this one. Oh, yeah, it's right there. So there's four Waterford pieces plus whatever that other one was. I don't even know. Lawness or whatever. I'm not sure. This is Galway Irish Crystal. This is a Long Longford perfume bottle. So <laughs> I was just mentioning a perfume bottle. Hope I had that upside down. Longford perfume bottle, made in Poland, 24% lead crystal. I doubt this is worth as much as the Waterford one, but it should be, it should be something brand new. Here's another Waterford piece. I don't even know what this one is. This is a perfume bottle. So if this is the same one we just sold, I'll flash the other one we just sold right now. It might be. It really might be. The other one had a stopper with it. This one does not. That's not good. I think it is the same thing. The other one had the stopper though. And I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing the stopper, so that's not good. Maybe someone will uh, have, have broken the uh, perfume bottle and we'll need another one, a replacement, if we can't find the stopper. So that's cool. It's kind of funny. What's this? This is going to be the stopper. <laughs> yeah, it's clearly the stopper. So that's sweet. That's uh, it's almost like a bonus sale. It's finding another. Uh, plus, uh, if the box is in similar condition and all that. At the very least, we can sell similar and take new pictures. So that'd be a quick lister. Then we got Ozark Trail leather handle knives. A couple of big old hip knives. 
10 and 3 quarter inch fixed blade and a 7 and 25 7.25 inch fixed blade. So that's nice right there. And another name you need to know, you need to know Waterford and you need to know buck knives. If you see a buck knife and it's anything reasonable in price, $3, $5, $6, pick it up even if you know think you're like you're taking a chance as long as it's not like rusted right through or something. Um this is a two knife set. It's hard to see the one because there's like a tag in front of it there. But these are brand new in the package. You want to know buck knives. Um, they're just a really good knife and they hold a bunch of value. I'm not sure about this. Let's see. Yeah, there's nothing under the UPC, but I'll try to find it and put up a price count on some of this stuff. And that's going to be it. Uh, we got Waterford Lismore packets here. So I'm assuming that this goes with some of the water fur that's in the other totes that we've yet to get to. But this was a long haul video, you guys. But if you're made to this point, you trudged through it and you and you got here with me right now. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, ask questions. Um, make fun of us. Write stuff in the comments. We're good about that kind of stuff. We're still super, super small. So we're going to be responding to you know 99% of the stuff and uh thank you guys for watching up to this point I'm gonna pick up all this stuff and get to work here I have to post I have to edit and post uh, a video that's uploading right now which is gonna be our our weekend sales where we just sold over fourteen hundred dollars worth of stuff and uh hopefully you guys like this video give us a thumbs up and I will see you again soon uh Kennedy will end this video for me thank you guys Bye. Say resell CNY. Resell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.